everybody, my name is Ted Forbes and welcome back to The Art of Photography. I know I said I was not going to do an episode this week and this is just gonna be a quick one today. Um, series of events, we had a quick meetup last night in Montreal. I'm back in Texas today. Um, it's been a weird 24 hour turnaround. Uh, but a discussion that came up at the meetup last night I thought would be worth sharing with you guys. And so I wanna talk a little bit about that today. Um, like I said, I was in Montreal this week. Uh, it was for a conference that was unrelated to the show but to my day job at the museum. And uh, anyway, we decided very last minute uh, that we were going to do an art photography meetup at a pub and I want to apologize to a few of you because I did get some tweets and some emails from some folks and I know it was really short last minute notice and I apologize for that. We will do a proper meetup and I will come back to Montreal. Montreal is a wonderful city. Um, it, the food is absolutely wonderful. It's beautiful there. The people are nice everything to love about it. Uh, but anyway we had a, uh, a last minute meetup. Um, we had two guys show up. Um, we had uh, Murray and Andrew, uh, totally cool guys, way into photography. Um, it was a really small deal, so we, the four of us just got together and, and hung out and talked photography and music and other things for a couple hours. Had a wonderful time. Uh, it kind of turns out, and this is kind of funny, that Murray was talking about his band, and he mentioned the Deers a couple times, and I thought, wait a minute, I know this band. And long story short, about seven or eight years ago, I remember Tom York, the singer from Radiohead, I was in a period of my life where I was kind of I hadn't been listening to a lot of new music in a while and creatively I was really trying to get back into that and I remember Tom York had this article where he was talking about a bunch of his favorite artists and the Deers were mentioned in there and they had an EP that I bought called Protest uh, which if you're into indie rock kinds of stuff uh, maybe a little progressive mixed in and kind of experimental it was amazing um, and I haven't kept up with the Deers in a long time and, and finally I asked Murray and sure enough that was his band and I thought it was kind of cool that you know he's obviously into the show and at the same time here, I kind of have been into his music for a number of years now. So very small world, weird story, but I thought it was really neat. Anyway, we were talking for a while and Murray and Andrew are both working on a project. Uh, obviously Murray does full-time music thing and has a wonderful band. I'm gonna put links in show notes today to Murray's band because they really are awesome and you need to check them out. Um, anyway, but we were talking about it and Murray's got a project going right now. Actually, the two of them are working on it, he and Andrew both, where they're working on a 16 millimeter film project. So that's actually 16 millimeter cinema film and we were talking about um, you know just the logistics of doing a project like that and when you're shooting something that costs basically uh, $400 for a roll of film you're not just out there running and gunning you're actually planning your shots and planning your light and 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 being very determined and what's interesting this is what I want to share with you today is I think that and I was thinking about this on the plane on the way home is that that is kind of, and I think this could go for photography, it could go for music, it could go for any pre creative project, but sometimes when you put those limitations on, that opens up a different kind of spark for creativity to happen. And it, it's, it's a weird thing to explain, and those of you who know what I'm talking about know exactly what I'm talking about, but essentially what it is, is if you're gonna do a, something and you know this can be a great way to get out of a rut too, if you you know creatively kind of stale or stagnating, is come up with an idea for, for something you want to do and put parameters around it. One of the comparisons Murray said is, you know, when he's doing music, um, you know, he's a guitar player. So, you know, what if I wanted something that's really heavy and gritty and kind of dark, but I'm going to like, here's my limitation. I'm not going to use guitar on it. I have to get that sound from something else. And all of a sudden those parameters end up opening up possibilities. And actually I think, you know, and this is what we were kind of agreeing on last night, open up more freedom to what it is that you are looking to do or trying to explore or really what you want to pull out of yourself. This can happen in photography as well. You know, think of a shot you want to get and impose a limitation on it. Uh, let's say that you want to shoot, um, you know, something that's really colorful but you're going to make yourself do it in black and white or something that's very contrasty and moody and maybe you do shoot a lot of black and white and you're going to force yourself to do it in color or maybe you're a digital person and you're going to make yourself shoot film or vice versa. Anyway, some of those, it's just a real easy limitation there but some Sometimes that opens up uh, possibilities for other things. I think, you know, there was a point in my life where I was doing a lot of um, urban landscapes. So it was like, you know, cityscapes of mainly downtown Dallas, but I've done other cities too, like London, where I was doing night exposures with no flash and really slow film. And so you're going to have to figure out parameters around it, as I did, where you're going to have to use a tripod. You're going to have to try to figure out there's really no way to meter light uh, when it's really dark. Uh, it's off the, the, the meter reading. And so anyway, so, the, you know, finding things you can do to impose limitations on yourself uh, can sometimes open up greater creative freedom. Anyway, I wanted to share that.
chat with you because these guys were really awesome and I want to thank them for coming out and I apologize to the rest of you who couldn't make it and I know Montreal's a big city and I had uh, several people who had expressed an interest in showing up that just couldn't do it because it was last minute. I promise I will be back. Uh, we'll make it happen again and uh, I'm going to link to some of Murray's stuff below in the show notes. Um, uh, they've done a ton of stuff. They've been on David Letterman. They, I mean, they're a big deal. And I was really flattered that he digs my show because it's like, wow, I dig his band. So it was really kind of cool. So I'm sorry if you guys missed it. And uh, anyway, that's just a short episode today. I wanted to share a little bit of that conversation last night. I will admit I have been awake since 3.30 local time this morning to catch a very early flight to come back to the United States. And I am exhausted. So it is now time to go rest and recoup and put this up on YouTube and um, iTunes, etc. But I wanted to give you guys just a little quick episode today. Uh, it was kind of last minute, spur of the moment kind of thing. Uh, we'll be back to more of a planned episode and the regularly scheduled stuff next week. So anyway, guys, thanks once again for watching. It's been The Art of Photography. See you next time. Later.